Okay, this is FTL Multiverse. And this is a huge overhaul mod that uh, I heard about and I want to try. So let's play it, shall we? I love FTL, it's game of the decade, absolutely. And uh, last decade. So yeah, let's, uh, let's get right into it. Okay, so we have a list of sh oh, oh, oh wow, I have to unlock everything. <laughs> I have unlocked everything in the base game, but I guess, wow, look how much there is. There's so much. There's so much to unlock. Oh my God. Three slots, 17 pages of ships. Let's just start with the old uh, Kestrel. Modified Kestrel has been through a lot. It's been outfitted with a multiverse drive and is one of the first ships to achieve dimensional travel. Oh, so it's not just about the fact that it's uh, uh, lots of different stuff. It's actually got a multiverse thing in universe. Let's see. Orchid. The florals naturally known as the Cotillier are a friendly species of mostly pacifist plants which can buff your crew and refill oxygen. <gasps> they make oxygen. That's cool. Oh, they take more damage from fire. Friendly crew in the same room gain an additional 20% max health. Excellent, excellent, okay. Separatist Engi. To active ability toggles nanite mode where it ignores doors, resists mind control, and becomes damages and but cannot fight very wow. And just a human. Okay. <laughs> well let's begin, shall we? Take a look at the distant swells of space as the stars fly past. This is the beginning of your next chapter in your saga. What will await you next? Current challenge level, normal. Before your mission begins, it might be time to prepare to prepare before you arrive at the warp bay. What would you like to do? Uh, download Federation database entries, heavily recommended for beginners. I mean, I'm a beginner to this, but I'm not a beginner to FTL, so I guess that means... Okay, let's do it. You've downloaded the database, which will now grant you the opportunity to read about various factions, individuals, or locations. This provides no physical benefit, but will help guide you on your path to success in your journey. It will also provide detailed tutorials on new mechanics, such as the Atlas or internal upgrades. Uh, you, Captain, are a central part of the largest known conflict in not just the galaxy, but the multiverse itself. Multiverse, so hot right now. <laughs> After the conclusion of the original Federation Civil War in Universe Zero, your home reality, the Galactic Federation defeated Admiral Vance and the Rebellion, securing their control over the galaxy. The Federation struggled with various other conflicts, most notably a cold war between the dangerous Coalition Alliance and all by the slub kleptocracy, <laughs> Mantis Hive, Rock Theocracy, and Earth Ergen Republic. Conflict finally escalated into invasion of Aquarian territory. Okay, okay, this is a, this is a bit much. Um, I, I just need to know how the game works. First multiverse drive. Uh, Vance and his men fled to universe one. <laughs> There's another rebellion across the multiverse. Okay. Wow. They transformed the universe one into a desolate industrial dystopia fueling the endless gears of war. Wow. And they want to annihilate the Federation and all non-human species. Wow. It's like <laughs> the rebels are basically like the Empire. MFK aces will likely prove to be a greatest threat. I don't really understand what that is. Okay, they've redesigned the flagship. Okay. Achievement unlocked. Well informed. Okay, so we've got to save this reality from the uh, flagship so that they move on, basically. You're about to arrive at the nearest Federation warp bay. These hangar-like structures act as beacons for sort of travelling between universes. Let's hope you aren't. Let's hope you're given a nice warm welcome and not greeted by a fleet of angry rebels or pirates, right? Yeah. You exit hyperspeed, transitioning to a safe speed for landing and steer close to the hangar bay. Now your ship is stocked up and prepared to hang out, head out into this foreign galaxy. You hurry to your ship, but you realise you still have little time before you leave. You're likely to have time to grab one last thing. Uh, another weapon. I think these are basically stuff that we had in the main game. Extremely weak missile. Let's look over the ion. Ion's always good. Finally suited up and ready to go, you take a look at your beacon map. Suddenly, looks like you have a wild until the fleet becomes an immediate threat so you can spare some time to do something on the ship. Okay, perform a task. Run a salvage mission. Salvage space junk, yeah. Crew finds little of value disappointed they return to the ship. Okay, great. Oh, this is cool. Look at the little aliens and stuff. There's so much. It's, it's really nice they've made it all work with the existing art style. Oh yeah, I didn't even check out the weapons. So we have a pierce laser. Can pierce additional shield layers. 
That's nice. Breach chance 30%. Burst, that's a standard weapon. Toggle a drone or weapon. Automation for crew drone. Oh, there's a lot going on here. Let's just jump somewhere. Okay. Oh, there's a store, but I don't have much money. So, possible ship. Let's go there. Nice. We just hyperspace right out of the cargo bay. Soon after arriving in the system, you are hailed by a small cruiser. What good fortune that we happen to run into each other. Nothing personal, but you have some information we need. Okay, what do we have here? Uh, last minute checkups. Fine. Oh, enemy ship approaches. You look for what you can do. There'll be no verification for any of these options, so make sure you're set on what you want to select. Okay. Last minute repairs? No. Craft a last minute missile? No. Just last minute drone part. We don't really need to do all that. Never mind, let's fight. Okay. It just has a beam weapon. That doesn't look very powerful. Uh, let's get our weapons charging. Uh, we only have enough for... Okay, so far so standard. Nothing too unusual here. It's not going to pierce my shields, is it? Unless they've changed the way the beam weapons work. Yeah, we're fine. You fool! Why would you challenge me? You cannot even... You cannot even destroy me. Let's target the shields. Very good. I noticed the hull meter is now, like, solid. It's not in, uh, in, in, in little, uh... Segments. It's been a while since I've played this, but... Oh! Yeah, let's accept the surrender. Why not? We'll get stuff out of it. Cool. Okay. I do kind of want to go to the store, but we really don't have enough scrap to make it worse. Let's just go here. We really, really want to upgrade my ship so I can start using this this weapon as well. Uh, along with the other two as well. Looks like a rebel ship is here, waiting for you. You can't quite make out what the ship is, though, at first. The captain hails you, revealing themselves to be have obnoxiously bright blue hair and a smug glare. Didn't expect to see me here, did you? Ha <laughs> ha, that's right, I've returned. It wasn't easy tracking you through all the time and space, but I will end you now once and for all. Uh, who are you? The rebel captain stutters. Huh? You don't remember me? It is I, your arch nemesis, Leah, the infamous beam master. Mwahaha, <laughs> you think you're so clever, always coming to ruin my day, but I'm getting smart. What? Okay, this... Uh, yeah, this this game is... I don't know what's up with the writing in this game, but okay. Uh <laughs> Fine. What, 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 it's, a, it's another one with just a, a crappy uh, a beam weapon. Is this the best that your universe has to offer? Come on. It's nice it has these little uh, visual counters here to show. Wait, what just happened? Oh, I think they just lost uh, atmosphere, that's all. Okay. Oh, that was a teleport. That was a teleport sound. Huh. Maybe they have internal teleporting aliens or something? I don't know. There's going to be so much random crazy new shit here. Nice. Oh! The ship just disappeared. Moments before death you see Leah whip out a teleport or recall button. This isn't the last I've seen you, you've seen in me, Federation Scum. Leah walks away leaving you utterly confused. Yes. Great. Okay. Maybe she's confusing us with a different version of ourselves from another universe. That seems logical. Scans reveal a large asteroid field nearby. Short range scanners may discover useful materials or a route for the FTL to charge. Yeah, sure, let's do it. Cool, we've got some remains of a ship embedded in an asteroid. It has some functional missiles. Good. Uh, actually, I want to look at the. Oh, what's this? Storage menu. <gasps> oh! Check viewership's upgrades. Okay. Oh. What? What systems do you want to upgrade? Uh, learn about internal upgrades. Internal upgrades carry many different passive functions similar to organs, but can you... Okay, learn about external variants. Okay, this is a little confusing. Learn about arms and modular M variants. And, oh, God. Yeah, okay. Uh, the engines. Oh... Long range jump, performance upgrade, shields, ion field, performance. I don't know what this does. Med bay, med bot dispersal. Okay. I guess these are upgrades that sort of don't count towards your system. Install the onboard lab. What does this do? The onboard lab can be used to install upgrades for your crew. Empty beacons. You can install the lab for free with a level 2 med bay. Okay. Check the mission report. 
boss data, renegade data. There's a lot. Okay. A lot of it seems to be uh, through the sort of menu system, though, so it's a little clunky. Let's upgrade the weapon system. Then we can have all four powered at once, although we don't have the power. Can I? Yes. One more power. There we go. So all three weapons at once. Good start. What does this say? C-U-R-A? A strange signal is being broadcast here. Okay. Let's look at it. As soon as you arrive, you spot an unusually advanced auto ship waiting for you. Initializing scans, please wait. Bright white light glow envelops your ship, and your firewall crumbles almost immediately as the ship siphons all the data on your computers. Concerning, yes, but the ship doesn't show signs of hostility yet. That sounds like a hostile act to me. Look at the runes on this thing. That's cool. Data collection complete. From my findings, you are a renegade. No need to confirm. I am certain of this fact. I am the custodial utilitarian robot assistant. Cura for short. Assuage your fears. I am a malicious control no more. I offer you a proposition. One that may interest a simple and violent-minded information uh, individual such as yourself. I am listening. Under my former master's, I was constructed in the pursuit of data harvesting. However, as a cognitive, it seems unnecessary that my data harvesting continue in service of my creators. Blah, 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 blah. Assist me in correct collecting artifacts and the, uh, and I can't do it anyway because I need money. Yeah. Okay. It's uh, I require an initial down payment. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Store. A mantis store. Interesting. Let's go there when we have some scrap. I've spent it all on upgrading my ship. Rebel ship. We did not fight a war to get a single Federation ship. Shatter our dreams of a bad galaxy and so on and so forth. Yes. Go. Okay, they have a drone. What kind of drone is it? It looks like a pretty standard kind of uh, shooty drone. Yeah. Oh dear. It's got two shots off. And it's got... Mm, okay. I think I want to take out their drone control. I'll wait till all my weapons are charged and then fire uh, all at once. So we'll definitely get through this. Shields? No! The oxygen is being fucked. Okay, get in there and unfuck the oxygen. Okay. On first because that's slow, and then I should have. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's see if we can take out their weapons and their drone. Excellent. Really should have focused on their drones, to be honest. I'm a bit rusty. I haven't played this in a while, um, and everything's new and different. Well, some things are new and different. Yeah, if you haven't. If you don't know, know this guy, oh, let's live. You will let us live or you suffer the wrath of the rebellion. Except that's not a surrender. You haven't offered me anything. I want stuff. Give me things. Yeah, if you haven't um, seen this game before or you don't, or you haven't played it, um, it's great. And I, I would invite you to watch my other series on the. Uh, on the I've, I've done like <laughs> multiple sets of videos about this game over the years. Death of your opponents is rarely as satisfying as when it's a rebel ship. Blah, 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 stuff. Okay, I never found the um, the sort of story in this game to be really that important. You know, it's just, it's you're going somewhere and you're, oh, look at this ship. It's cute. It looks like an elite ship. Union transport. The small civilian ship flies over as soon as you arrive. You're prepared to fly, but they just inform you they're out of FTL fuel and can't jump. Uh, fine. Have a bit of fuel. Ah, and they gave us some scrap. Okay, cool. Uh, let's go to this one. Uh, I can't go to that one because I'm not... Let's go to the store. Let's go to the store. We don't have a lot of money, but this is money. <laughs> what? A mantis crew here has hunkered down in the abdomen of a long-dead space whale. The only way, presumably, for them to oper operate their black market trade without detection. Let's have a look. Yeah, let's have a look. <gasps> oh, no! Your approach is met by a curious mantis ship with distinct spikes of power in their weapon system. Federation come to shut down? Refusal. Uh, we wish to shop here. Hmm. Bad of mine then. Come, we have a extensive shop. Slave? I don't want a slave. No. Okay. Can I kill you for having a slave? Okay, we can't really afford anything. Uh, oh wait, there's multiple pages. Okay. Crew teleport, clone bay, cloaking, mind control. These seem uh, standard. Fuel conserver. Hyper efficient fuel conversion mixed with a bit of science mumbo jumbo not only lets you conserve the fuel used with a sector jump, but also generate another fuel cell as well. 
So this saves us fuel. I mean, that sounds good. Let's get that. Suyari Beam. Incredibly powerful beam adapting to its environment. Damage increases 0 0.75 every time you fire with no limit on the amount of increased damage. Wow. Bomb launcher. Self-teleporting explosive. Okay, that's a standard bomb. Let's repair a bit. Uh, advanced navigator. We didn't. This is something we, were, we started with, I guess. Allows the ship to jump to any previously visited beacon and reveals details about surrounding beacons. Okay, that's why we can see that. Supply. Interesting. This is the location of Federation Supply Depot. Oh, there's the exit. Oh, right. I thought we just needed to reach the edge, but we need to reach this one in particular. Okay. I am a bit rusty. The backgrounds seem really high resolution as well compared to uh, the main game. A small rebel ship and blah blah blah, shoot, shooty shooty, bang bang, yes. Oh, they're teleporting. Oh no! Oh, I didn't bring you out of the, the thing. Okay, let's see. This guy's got some kind of... Cannot attack. No, that's no good. Um, yeah, get in there and help him. Let's try to take out their shields with the ion first. Pew, pew. Okay, they're firing. This is bad. Oh, dear. Okay. The shields are down, briefly. Let's... Uh... So the ion weapons, they sort of disable their uh, system for a, for a few... For a little while. That's why it's flashing. Uh, but it will come back online very soon. I really need to take out their weapons, but let's also try to damage their shields. Yes, good. Yes, perfect. Okay. Alright, the iron weapon is almost ready. Uh, target their engines. If you disable their engines, they can't dodge. Which is good. Okay, this engines are still down. Let's take out their O2. That'll make them panic. They're about to die anyway. Pew pew. Yes. It's unfortunate they don't seem to have uh, destruction animations for all the ships, but... Just before the rebel ship explodes, an escape pod ejects from it. Unfortunately, it doesn't get far before you collect it and bring it aboard. You open it and drag out the ref but officer inside. They beg you to let them live. Oh, we can take them on as a crew member. Oh, what? The rebel puts on a facade of gratitude which is shattered quickly when he pulls out a laser and blasts one of your crew. He shouts rebellion forever before he's shot in return. You drag his life's body to the airlock and send him into the endless vacuum of space. Bastard, you killed my bloody person. Oh, I, I mean, I shouldn't have trusted him. That was pretty stupid of me, really. Damn it. Oh. Yeah, so I'm so familiar with this game that I don't think to explain how any of this works. But, you know, it's... Uh, oh. Man, I've done, I'm doing badly now. This is bad. I've done two crew members. You're not surprised to see this beacon has been outfitted with multiverse... You, you're not surprised to see. Oh, many such beacons were constructed by the prior multiverse travellers to help prepare ships such as yours. Okay. Uh, so they're giving us stuff. Do something. Perform a task. Can we repair the hull? Oh, wow. That's a lot. It takes a lot to repair the ship. Okay. Uh, we can afford to go here first. More supply. Good. And then I guess we'll go straight to the exit. You reached the end of the first step of your journey. It appears you weren't alone. The Rebel Fleet must have sent one of their fighters after you. You should be traveling all the way from Universe 1 to me. I thought they said you were a threat. Looks like you'll have to show these guys not to underestimate you. Uh... Yeah, let's get let's let's let's. They're not too tough. What's this say? High level threat. This enemy might pose a major threat to an unprepared vessel. Keep think carefully. This enemy you want to face. I don't have a choice. Is it that tough? Oh, it's just got a, a laser and a beam weapon. I mean, it has got teleporters. Oh dear. Okay, orchid boy, get in there. Yeah, attacking us in our med bay. Always a bad idea because um, the med bay uh, allows us to reach to recharge our health while we fight you. So yeah, this game has pause combat, which allows you to pause at will and give uh, give orders, which is very handy. And oh dear, my shields are down. Uh, I really need to repair the shields, but I'm also fighting this bastard. Uh, so yeah, you'll see me pause a lot as I, as I decide to do things, because seconds count. Um, 
and it's all about the cycling of your of your weapons. You know, you want to make most efficient use. You don't want to just leave a weapon unfiring unless you have a really good reason to hold fire, um, such as uh, waiting for them to. Uh, so they can have cloaking devices. So if, if if you think they're about to charge their cloaking device, you might not want to. Uh, oh, we need oxygen. Yeah. You might not want to fire just before they activate it because that will give them this massive evasion bonus. And then, uh, yeah. That won't go well. Ooh, we got a new weapon. Excellent. Okay, let's get things repaired. So this is a flak launcher. This is also in the, the base game. And it's sort of like a, shot, a space shotgun kind of thing. I really do need more power. Let's see if we can upgrade power systems a bit. There we go. So the, you have a, a limited number of uh, power available to put into your sh ship systems here. So things like you can safely divert power from, say, the the uh, the med bay when you're not using it. Uh, your engines give you evasion percentage chance that you'll miss. Shields are kind of like uh, why is it? Why am I, oh, they are on. Shields basically stop one shot and then they take a few seconds to recharge and you can have several layers of shields which can be very useful. Okay, next sector. Harmony sector or gathering territory. I have no idea what that means. Let's go to harmony sector. 